Hey everyone, hopefully everybody's doing all right. Getting ready to feed my uh, Hawaiian red tail bow again, my young little girl, Esmeralda. Um, like I said, she likes live. I cannot get her to switch to frozen. But uh, she eats real good. Um, I know some people said that, uh, you know, every seven to ten days she pretty much is starving every seven days so and i feed her an appropriate size meal and i keep a temperature probe right here and i also keep a temperature probe on my other side i also keep a probe there and then i keep this uh to let me know the uh temperature and the humidity at all times like i said i've got a little, another little probe back there and then I got this right here that uh, shuts off when it gets too hot. And I have a uh, heat emitter on this side. And I got a little small heat, heat emitter on the other side. I got 150 on this side. And I have a uh, 50 on the other side just to keep it in their temperature range. Uh, and then, you know, I, I've, I've changed the water at least one time a week. More if it gets dirty. Depends on uh, how dirty she gets it, you know. So, when I feed live, I stay here the whole time. That way, it does not uh, have a chance to bite my beautiful girl. I have to get my snake hook. I don't take a chance when I'm feeding. Uh, I put my hand in there. I have heard of some people getting bit, you know, especially when you're handling. And I have uh, ball pythons and other things. I don't feel like getting bit. And the reason why I do that live is uh, when she eats live is to stay with her the whole time to where it doesn't bite her so if the rat gets in a bad position or she gets it in a bad position uh, it does not bite her so. she uh her name's Esmeralda that's what my daughter's name her. and she's doing real good man I've had no problem with her at all she's real calm uh, some people said they kind of get a little uh, wild, but I've never had that problem with her. I hold her easy. I haven't had no problem with holding her. Over there. there we go. Uh, like I said, I've had no problem holding her, ever. Uh, she remains calm. As you can see, the mouth right there. I'm just going to monitor it until it deceases. So it does not have a chance to bite my beautiful girl. I will be breeding her when she gets up older. Uh, I will be buying a male shortly to go with her. Like I said, she's Guayan. And I love the true red tail boa. Uh, I've had no problem at all with them. Keeping their temperatures in check and their water and their humidity. I'm just now rehumidizing. I see some a little urinate right there. I'm going to clean up. I keep them in a plastic tub right now. And then later on, I'm going to be buying her a lot bigger enclosure. Uh, eventually, she'll go to an 8 by 4 by 4. But uh, I'll just slowly upgrade as she upgrades as she gets bigger. So it, this, these uh, do get pretty big. These uh, tubs here, you can get them pretty large. And they hold really great humidity. So, hopefully, everybody's having a great time. If you haven't, please like and subscribe and submit. Uh, it'd help us out growing the page. I will be having a lot more animals uh, coming soon. Like I said, I sold most of my ball pythons to get into the uh, boa market. I love the boas. And I will be breeding and selling true red tail boas. So, I hope everybody's having a great time. And we really appreciate y'all watching. Like I said, if you haven't, please subscribe and hit the like button and notification button. We really appreciate it.